besides being two wrestlers who have already faced each other in WWE rings. The Rock and The Undertaker are two powerful men who have amassed huge fortunes in their careers. But have you ever wondered who has the most luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a heated battle between The Undertaker and The Rock. Exaggerated Luxuries Both athletes don't skimp when it comes to shopping, but which one has the habit of spending the most money? One of the items The Undertaker can't do without are luxury watches, such as his G-Shock Mudmaster GWG-1000-101, a highly resistant analog digital model, ideal for use in more extreme areas, as it has a dust dash, mud and vibration-proof structure. And to give you an idea of the price, this versatile watch may have cost the former wrestler just over $1,000. In order to always look his best, another item he can't do without is good shoes. In a video for the Complex channel, the star showed some sneakers he already has in his collection, such as Chuck Taylor All-Star High $65, Nike LeBron James 14 GS The Undertaker for $140, and a $500 Puma Clyde Undertaker. In addition to these, he also took advantage of the interview to buy some more shoes, such as Salid Bamburi Crocs Polex Clog for $85. Concepts Nike SB Dunk Orange Lobster valued at $120. Hoka Anna Kappa Low GTX for $170. And even a Hoka Anna Kappa Mid GTX for $185. With all this, we can tell that the former wrestler doesn't skimp when it comes to shopping. The Rock, on the other hand, is a generous actor who likes to please people. As a way to celebrate Thanksgiving, the actor shared on his social networks the moment when he presented one of his fans with his car, a beautiful custom Ford F-150 valued at more than $75,000. He even gave this same car to the professional who does his stunts in the movies, and another one to his uncle who inspired him to be a wrestler. And the actor's car donations don't stop there. He has given several members of his family a car, for example when he gave a beautiful $95,000 Cadillac Escalade to his sister-in-law, and another to his beloved mother. His father has also won a $50,000 Ford Explorer, and also a Cadillac Escalade. His cousin has won a $45,000 Lexus RX and his employee a $40,000 Ford Edge. Still for his dear mother, the actor decided to surprise her by buying her nothing less than an incredible mansion in Los Angeles, California. According to the videos posted by real estate agents, we can see that the interior of the residence has a light color palette, which contrasts very well with the dark wood floors that cover several rooms of the property and bring a greater sense of comfort to the environments. In all, the interior of the property is almost 4,500 square feet divided into six bedrooms and five bathrooms, more than enough to serve the whole family. In the backyard of the house, there is a lawn with a rectangular pool and several lounge chairs. There is also a barbecue area and even a basketball court. And to give this beautiful mansion to his mother, sources estimate that The Rock had to spend about $3.5 million. When it comes to dressing up, he has been seen wearing beautiful watches, such as $21,000 IWC Portuguese or annual calendar, $25,000 Rolex GMT Master II, $28,000 Rolex Yacht Master. $30,000 Payne Rice Submersible Gold Tech, $30,000 IWC Big Pilot Perpetual Calendar Spitfire, $35,000 Audemars Pichuet, and even a $320,000 Audemars Pichuet White Gold. As they both spend a lot of money in different ways, we'll consider this round a draw. Points for both! Most Expensive Property When it comes to good places to live, both fighters don't skimp on comfort. But who owns the most valuable property? Starting with The Undertaker. One of his former residences, for example, has just over 6,100 square feet of living space and is located in Hacienda Ridge, in the city of Austin. Originally built in 2007, the rustic-style house has stone walls and beautiful wooden floors, as well as spacious rooms that offer more comfort to the residents. Among the main spaces in this charming refuge where the undertaker lived are a living room with a stone fireplace, well lit by natural light, a cozy family area with a TV, and a library with wood paneling and bookshelves. The kitchen has a large island in the center, high-quality white cabinets and modern appliances to help prepare everyday meals, as well as a dining area for up to six people. 
The residence also has four cozy bedrooms, some set up to receive guests, as well as five luxurious bathrooms with distinctive decorations. Moving on to the master suite, you can see that it offered all the comforts the former wrestler needed, such as an exquisite bathroom with a dressing table and a relaxing bathtub. There is also a balcony on the second floor with seating areas and a built-in barbecue, as well as a games room with a wooden table and a bar for parties. Outside, the house is located on a 43,400-square-foot plot and has lots of native landscaping, which creates a pleasant atmosphere, not forgetting that there is also a beautiful swimming pool to enjoy and contemplate the views. This residence definitely had everything the Undertaker required. And although no one knows how much the former wrestler bought or sold the property for in his last listing before it was sold, the asking price was $3.6 million. The Rock, for his part, owns a luxurious mansion situated on a 3.67-acre plot in Beverly Hills in California. Although there are few records of the interior of the property, it is possible to see that Dwayne Johnson's property can offer a lot of privacy, leisure, and comfort for him. Resembling almost a resort, the mansion has several amenities such as a large green space, a cinema room with comfortable armchairs, a tennis court, a recreation area with a swimming pool, and even another heated swimming pool that is fully covered. And to acquire this Mediterranean-style mansion, the star had to spend a real fortune. According to some sources, The Rock had to pay the princely sum of $27.8 million. In other words, The Rock easily wins this round. Point for the actor! Vehicles The two bullies love to enjoy beautiful vehicles on a daily basis, but which one has the garage with the best cars? One of the types of transport Undertaker uses the most are motorbikes, and he has been seen on a variety of them during his memorable appearances at WWE events. Among the motorcycles he owns are Harley-Davidson V-Rod $21,000 Harley-Davidson Fat Boy $27,000 West Coast Custom Chopper worth $150,000, among many others that have passed through the star's garage. When it comes to cars, it is speculated that The Undertaker has owned many vehicles, such as a 1978 Mercedes-Benz W123, which seems to have been one of his first cars and is currently valued at around $14,000. The former wrestler has also been seen with a customized Toyota Camry in stock car competitions, and although it's not known how much it's worth, an ordinary model can cost more than $28,000 depending on the version chosen. He also seems to have had a Cadillac ATS, a compact sedan powered by a 202 horsepower engine, which costs around $36,000. It is speculated that The Undertaker also has a Chevrolet Tahoe, a high-performance SUV that can comfortably carry up to nine people. The interior of this car has excellent finishes for the comfort of the passengers and, of course, has many technological features. And for those wishing to purchase a vehicle like this, you need to shell out around $52,000. The WWE star has also been seen in a Chevrolet Suburban, a versatile, robust and spacious SUV designed to accommodate a large family. To have this large vehicle in your garage, you need to shell out around $62,000. Some sources also suggest that he owns a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, a robust vehicle equipped with a hybrid engine. And although I don't know if the former wrestler actually owns this car, to get an idea of the price, it is estimated to cost around $75,000. Another car he supposedly owns is a Cadillac Escalade ESV, a sleek and fast car that has seven seats and offers plenty of comfort for its passengers during journeys. And to own a car like the former wrestlers, you have to shell out around $78,000. The Undertaker's collection also includes a Mercedes-Benz SL Class, a luxury sports car that stands out for its lightweight and high level of performance, which can be purchased for up to $110,000. Another Mercedes car he has is a G-Class, a two-door convertible, great for any type of terrain, which is worth around $140,000. Going up in price, The Undertaker also seems to have a BMW M760 Lee Sport, an agile, safe and very powerful vehicle, capable of going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.7 seconds. And to get an idea of the price, you'd have to shell out around $204,000 for this vehicle. The most luxurious car that the former wrestler is speculated to own is a Bentley Continental GT, a sophisticated vehicle from the renowned Bentley luxury car brand. 
The interior of the vehicle is finished to the highest standard and, of course, it is equipped with a very powerful engine. And it's no wonder that the former wrestler's car has an estimated value of $220,000. The rock for his part has been seen with several impressive cars, such as $35,000 Plymouth Prowler, $55,000 1971 Chevy Chevelle, $75,000 Ford F-150, $80,000 Jaguar F-Type, $105,000 Cadillac Escalade, $110,000 Range Rover Sport, $120,000 1969 Chevrolet Camaro, $130,000 BMW i8, $140,000 Porsche Taycan, $145,000 Porsche Panamera, $150,000 Aston Martin Vantage, $180,000 McLaren 650s, $210,000 Aston Martin DB9, $220,000 Bentley Continental GT, $250,000 Ferrari 458, $300,000 Lamborghini Huracan, $310,000 Ferrari F12 Berlinetta, $340,000 Rolls-Royce Cullinan, $350,000 Rolls-Royce Wraith, $450,000 Lamborghini Aventador, $500,000 Ford GT660. Already in the millions, he has been seen with a McLaren P1, a super sports car capable of attracting a lot of attention wherever it goes, whose price of the latest models can easily exceed the figure of $1.2 million. Even more expensive, Dwayne Johnson has already taken a picture with a Ferrari LaFerrari, a stunning vehicle with a modern and futuristic design, capable of charming anyone who likes sports cars. And it's no wonder that to have this incredible vehicle in your garage, you may have to spend a real fortune, and it can be found for more than $1.4 million. The most expensive car The Rock has ever seen was a beautiful Pagani Huayra, a sports car coveted by many car lovers. The sports car has a modern design with an impeccable finish, and if the actor has this car, he may have shelled out more than $2.6 million. And for having the most luxurious cars, The Rock wins this round. Point for him! Other property! Both wrestlers own beautiful properties, but which one has the most valuable property portfolio? Among the properties that The Undertaker has owned is a ranch in Texas. And although the records are few, it is known that this place was once rented by Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt while he was working on the film The Tree of Life in the region in 2008. It is currently unknown whether the property still belongs to The Undertaker or how much it may have been sold for. In addition to these properties, it is speculated that he has other properties scattered around the United States, where he is probably enjoying his retirement in more privacy with his family. The Rock, on the other hand, bought a 13,000-square-foot mansion in a gated community in Miami, Florida in 2012. Going inside the property, we can see that the decor has a classic style with very sophisticated furniture. According to the photos that were released in the media, the mansion has a cinema room for the actor to watch his movies, as well as six beautiful and spacious bedrooms and seven bathrooms, some of which are very luxurious. In the external area, there is a lot of space with very green grass and a beautiful swimming pool with a jacuzzi. And to live in this big house, some sources estimate that the actor paid around $3.5 million at the time. When Dwayne Johnson wants to have more tranquility and contact with nature, he can enjoy his amazing 46-acre farm in Powder Springs. Entering the property of the actor, we can see how well cared for and beautiful his farm is, with an extensive green lawn, an ideal place for those who enjoy contact with nature. There is, for example, a large private lake, a place where The Rock has already posted on social networks that he likes to practice fishing and have a lot of fun with his daughters. The main farmhouse, which was built in 2002, has French Provencal architecture and has almost 15,000 square feet of floor space. Its interior has a rustic design, with a strong presence of walnut wood and stone cladding, as well as high ceilings and good natural light, reminiscent of old historic mansions. The mansion has eight bedrooms and nine bathrooms, some of which are very large and luxurious. In the backyard of the property, there is a good recreation area with a barbecue and a beautiful round swimming pool with a whirlpool. But no doubt it is the outside of the property that is most impressive, with a large area of pasture and of course a barn with 12 stables for the property's horses. 
and for when the actor wants to have fun with his animals, there is a spacious sand track for horses. As reported in the media, Dwayne Johnson needed to spend about $9.5 million, and since The Rock owns more expensive and luxurious properties, he's the one who wins this round. Point to him! Aircraft The two WWE stars like to travel in modern aircraft, but which of them has the most valuable jet? The Undertaker has, for example, been seen getting out of a Hawker 800 XP, a modern medium-sized business jet. The interior of the jet is very luxurious and can accommodate up to 10 passengers depending on the configuration. The aircraft of this model that the star used was the N899TM, and to enjoy a jet like this, you have to spend a lot of money. To give you an idea of the price, a new aircraft of this model would cost around $5 million. But if The Undertaker had only chartered it, he may have spent around $4,500 for each hour of flight. On another occasion, the former wrestler has also shared photos on his Instagram account of a Cessna Citation XLS, a beautiful, modern, medium-sized, high-performance twin-engine executive aircraft capable of carrying up to 12 passengers. With first-rate interior finishes, this plane offers quiet and cozy flights. It is not known whether The Undertaker owns this jet, but if he only charters flights, he spends around $5,000 an hour. The Rock has already been seen in a Gulfstream G650, one of the most modern, fastest, and longest flying range aircraft available on the market in this segment. The interior of the plane is luxuriously finished and can carry up to 18 people with great ergonomics. And although we do not know if he owns this little jet, it is estimated that to rent it you have to pay about $15,000 per flight hour. As we're not sure if they own the aircraft, we'll consider this round a draw. Points for both! Net Worth there's no doubt that both fighters have made a lot of money, but which one has the biggest net worth? Although it's not known how much The Undertaker made at the height of his career, in 2019 some sources estimate that Callaway charged around $25,000 an hour for appearances outside the WWE alone. In other words, he should earn a lot more than that inside the WWE. Currently, the Undertaker no longer actively participates in matches since he retired in 2020, but he still has a Legends contract with WWE, which serves especially to promote the brand at events around the world. And according to some rumors, The Undertaker makes around $2.5 million a year. It's also worth remembering that as a memorable wrestler who has starred in many matches over the decades, Callaway earns a great deal of money through image rights and sales of his character's merchandise, such as clothing and games. The Undertaker is also a world-renowned wrestling celebrity, and has therefore had advertising deals with famous brands, such as a toy line with Mattel. On Instagram, the WWE legend has over 5 million followers, and he also uses the social network to make paid partnerships with brands. It is also believed that the former wrestler receives significant amounts of money through Kalahar Crossroads, a company with which he is associated in the real estate sector with Scott Everhart. To give you an idea, the pair invested $2.7 million in 2006 to build a property in Loveland, Colorado, and according to reports from the site, each individual unit sells for around $700,000. Quite a deal, isn't it? And although it's difficult to determine the value of the former wrestler's fortune, some sources estimate that currently, after deducting all taxes, The Undertaker has a net worth of approximately $17 million. The Rock, for his part, is also a mega businessman who has investments in several areas. In the fitness business, for example, Dwayne launched Athletico in 2019, a mega event with talks focused on athletics and wellness. Still in this business, he has also launched his app called The Rock Clock, which has a motivational alarm clock and a goal plan for those who are looking to improve their physique. In the American soccer world, it was announced in the media that The Rock and other partners acquired the Professional League XFL for $15 million. Dwayne Johnson also has investments in the beverage business, for example, he is one of the partners in Zoa Energy, an energy drink made for those who need more energy. One of the actor's biggest businesses is his participation in the tequila brand Terramana, which has been very successful with the public and is projected to be worth billions of dollars in the next few years. But without a doubt, it is as a Hollywood movie actor that Dwayne Johnson has really made his money. To get a sense of figures, it is estimated that he received about $5.5 million for the Scorpion King, $9 million for the other guys, 
10 million dollars for Fast and Furious 6, 12.5 million for the rundown, 14 million for Central Intelligence, 15 million for Furious 7, 20 million for Hercules, 22.5 million for Black Adam, 23.5 million for Red Notice, and 25 million dollars for San Andreas. And it's no wonder that The Rock has been considered the highest paid actor in the world several times, with his peak being in 2018 when it was estimated that he was paid around $124 million for the year, becoming the highest paid actor of all time. And although nobody knows exactly how much his fortune is, many sources estimate that Dwayne Johnson has a net worth of approximately $800 million. So it's clear that The Rock wins this round. Point for him! At the end of this fight, we had two points for The Undertaker against six points for The Rock, making him the winner of this battle. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.